okay we're back and this time we're gonna make a, a blue one so um, my gloves are dry that's a good thing and I washed the brush so we're gonna be putting the white on the background as you can see nice and smooth there is a, a little bit of uh, bubbles but that's just because I made sure that the paint was thin enough so I had to stir it a little bit but that's okay we can fix that and that's where the uh, the torch comes in to burst those little bubbles but you can also do that with air uh, I found out that when you use the airbrush without paint of course you just blow over the paint and uh, it'll pop the little air bubbles too so this one I'm gonna let grow uh, again like I did the previous one and then I'll speed up the video later on so you can see how that stuff grows because that's the that's the key to these bottle cap pours that makes them beautiful you know the beautiful uh, growing of the paint in the background and where's my torch oh there it is so All the bubbles are gone. Now I had a couple of questions about the, the strokes you see here up here. Uh, and uh, th that'll flatten out when it once it dries it flattens out. So I'm gonna fill up my little bottle, bottle caps here. And yesterday I used this, the longer one. That doesn't work guys. No matter how much you want it to work it doesn't so uh sorry to say but it really doesn't i don't know i think it's a different way that the paint comes out um you're pushing the paint more into each other and somehow it just does not you know give you the same effect as the bottle caps do now me yeah i find that strange too because it's just you know so such a small difference that you'd think well, you're not going to see that, but you do. Absolutely, you do. So I really, if you want to do this type of pour, just get the little bottle caps. They're on every single bottle you can find. You see them on, uh, even on uh, the uh, soda bottles have those caps. It doesn't have to have that little thing in the middle. That That does absolutely nothing. I'm pretty sure about that. But the other, the size does, and uh, the amount of paint you put in, that all uh, gives you a different sort of a feel. Oops. So, putting that around there. And I think I will put a little bit more of the light blue in both. And, of course, the background color. And I'm going to finish off with the dark blue. And why I'm going to do that, because I know that this really goes into the background. That is the color that makes the most bubbles in the back. So we're going to put it on here. That's number one. That's number two. <coughs> and then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to turn them around and pull them out. Now, I got a lot of paint here, so I'll have to flip it around a little. And down again. And up again. That looks kind of cool. Let's do this. That's it. That's how we're going to keep it. Here it's going down the side, which I really think is beautiful. This side, not so much. So I'm going to try and get a couple of drops of paint out of the cap and put that on here. Let's see if we can do that. Yes, we can. So that it's going to come down and make a really nice pattern that's happening. Oops, I shouldn't have done that with my finger, though. So we're going to let it come down one more time. 
perfect because if you hang it, hang it on the wall I think it's nice that you see it wrapping around the canvas like that that makes it just uh, a little bit more special now I'm gonna zoom into this as you can see here it's already growing so I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna let it grow I'll just walk away let's see that's about it and we'll see what happens Okay guys, it'll grow a little bit more as you can see, but um, I'll uh, just stop the video right here. Uh, thanks for watching. This is the last one for this weekend. But as you know, I have a couple of days off, so I might just be back tomorrow. So thanks all for watching. Love you all to pieces. Hope you all See you later.